Hello everyone and welcome back to the Scapist. I'm feeling very strongly that in this video, unless I run into another mind bull crap with all the mines and shit underground or another wall or whatever, I believe very strongly we should be able to escape in this episode. So, let's do it. What you selling, my good buddy? I'll take some. Duct tape? Sure, sure, why not? Anyone selling crowbars? Not me, bye bye. Okay, get rid of that. Go in there, drop you off. Let's do some searching. Pretty much, I'm just gonna, you know, do about it the usual way. I don't know what outside's gonna store for me. So, I'm just gonna collect a bunch of materials and prepare to tunnel up and find out what that wall is all about. I'm gonna try to get a pickaxe, but other than that, I'm just gonna collect supplies. So, I will see you guys at night. And there's a fight in the shower. Of course, there's a fight in the shower. Alright, well, it's almost that time. Let's see if I can get any items off this guy. I was uh, able to make a pickaxe. But then I realized I have material to upgrade the pickaxe. By the way, it turns out guards don't care if you walk around outside. They, they don't care. Except at night time when you're supposed to be in your cell, obviously. But they don't care that I walked around outside. So I just went outside, grabbed a bunch more timber, and came again. But um, I realized I had enough material to make a multi-tool. So I made up the pickaxe. I already had the sturdy shovel. Then I combined them both, and bam, now I have a multi-tool, which is a shovel and a pickaxe together. Yes, no contraband here, so the only thing I have to do, I spent way too long doing that. The only thing I have to do, put the bed dummy in the bed and get the heck out. Everything else is already set up and ready to go. Got all my, look at all this stuff I got down here. I make outfits for days now. Now let's take that off, put you on, drop you off. I have no idea what the outside is going to bring, so I am just going to go outside. Wait, there's a jeep. I should have waited. Aw, oh, crap. I should have waited for the jeep to pass. I gotta get through here fast. Wrap. Go up. Put the dirt in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Obviously, this is the minefield. Ah. Uh, well. Can I dig th I can dig through that wall. That's what we gotta do then. We have to go right through this wall. We have to go right through this wall. Oh crap. <laughs> this seriously isn't good. I'm gonna wait for the jeep to pass. Oh, I don't think I'll have enough time to actually go all the way through it because it's two walls. But no guard will walk around out here because of the minefield. Can I chip away at the wall? I sure can. And he doesn't notice. Okay. So I'm gonna chip away at the wall. This multi-tool is awesome. It breaks walls and digs in dirt with only five. But what sets it apart is it's got 20... No, 100. Is it, Yeah, I think it's going down by 1%. I, I can't... Well, either way, it's only at 90%. I've already dug a hole and chipped away at a wall. So it's very sturdy and is efficient on anything. Walls, floors, anything else you can take apart. By the way, I should have plenty of time to dig through this wall and then probably dig through that wall too, we'll see. And here we go. Go up, go up. Camera's not scrolling up anymore, so I should be able to just escape right here now. Put the wall block back. The oh, I didn't put them back, but I guess it doesn't matter. For some reason, it doesn't put them back when it when you're already about to escape. But yay, I freaking did it. That actually wasn't that exciting because I spent so long in that prison. Like my says, my escape was assured at that point. I had so much materials, it, no matter what they threw at me that particular night, I was going to be able to handle it. I had so many materials, it didn't matter. But hey, that was, it was that simple. Just dig straight up, avoid the minefield, 
have a pickaxe when you get outside. Pickaxe and a shovel, but preferably a multi-tool, because it's both. And there you go. Woo! We did it. I do believe it's only one more prison. Yep. Just escaped from that one. HMP Iron Gate. Very hard. And it's the only very hard prison. We'll see how hard it is. I do also have the POW camp. You know what? I'm just I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna check out the POW camp just because I you know I got I got time to do it real quick. I'm gonna check it out. This is a Warden Morgan. This is a um, user created map here. Traitors have no place among citizens, and because you are in prison, you never escape from there, maggot. Okay, so he took some inspiration from the gang. What's up, Owen? How you doing? You know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and get up a bed, dummy. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we're all in one spot. Oh, well, this looks... This looks well designed. Look at that, got the... What? Skipping, jogging, and press-ups. Oh, look at that. The guards are on the outside of the fence. How awesome is that? That is good design right there. That is really good design. So there's only eight of us. Solitary's right there. There's a jeep patrol and an electric fence. Holy crap, this place looks amazing. Kind of make me want to design my own map. Contraband detectors everywhere. A bracket with a prisoner stash in it. Might be able to tunnel through there. What's up here? The job area. Now we got some showers, obviously. Some lockers. Gardening tools to generate. Go, 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 and sheesh! Primary. Wow! Okay, and we're dealing with nothing but super awesome sighted guards. They're all the best guards you can possibly get. And it's surrounded by thick jungle. Okay, so this is, this is really hard prison. Yeah, them guards aren't playing. The guards aren't playing at all. What's my job? The tailoring job. Well, huh. Well, I could just cut through the fence and then cut through this wall and go out that way. Like, that would be super easy. Hold up. I'm gonna go and... Ah, ah. Damn, guards! Holy crap! Oil and metal seem to be its thing here. No duck to tip. I got plenty of foil and metal. Nothing else, though. Okay, so I won't be able to get through. Well, I guess I could go grab some. Oh, golly, guys. I get it. Do my job. Shut the fuck up. Only two forks. I won't be getting through that way. Although I could just... I could just tunnel all the way through. Pretty sure there's electric fence underneath it, though. Alright, now you guys beat me up. Don't be telling me to get to my job. But yeah, I could, uh... I, I could tunnel, I could go through here, well it depends on where the guards are at night. Hmm, how could I efficiently escape this place? Guard towers, obviously. I could do it in the bathroom. Yeah, I could tunnel my way through here, turn off the generator, put a poster up or put the wall block back, come all the way over here, go through this wall, with a poster of course, and then go right up. So that's that's how you would do it. The guards, I don't think, go into the bathroom here. So yeah, you would just go through this wall. Obviously, I can't do it with two forks, but... I mean, look, the guards don't even... Well, apparently they do. Oh, no, 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 that was... That was me losing my job. It's all... Ah! Shit! I don't even know what just happened. See, they don't... They don't see you. Oh, no. Okay, so they do see you. But it doesn't matter, because you can just keep tunneling through until the wall's almost done. And then at night time, you just chip away once, put the poster up, and you're good. Then you flip off the generator, come around here, do the same thing over here, chip away at it once. Well, 
if you get your tailoring job back. And then you just gotta cut through that one fence and you're good. Although, it was well designed, it's like tight quarters and it, it, I wouldn't mind playing that if, you know, part two wasn't coming out. But, uh, that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and you will see me in the next video. Bye.